Good morning. Let this play for just a hot second, and then I'll just make a few short announcements. All right, welcome to now, welcome to now. Um, let's see, vibes.church is officially incorporated with the state of South Carolina. So we are excited about that. Lately, the past two recordings or so, for some reason, Facebook has had a glitch in it. If that happens, if I hear it, then I'll go ahead and I'll upload um I think I said Facebook. YouTube has had a glitch in it. If that happens, then I'll go ahead and upload the Facebook version. I didn't think the glitch on Friday was that bad to upload the Facebook version, but I do want to let you all know that. On Saturday, my great niece had a birthday. She turned 12 years old. So um, I did not on Friday say happy birthday to her, but I just want to go ahead and say happy birthday now to her. Um, let's see. Other than that, um, more of us keep biting the dust out of 10 of us that are in this baby pool for my next grandbaby. Seven of us have already bit the dust. We have, um, on today, we have Devante who, um, is, uh, has decided that today is going to be the day that the baby's born. My dad has decided tomorrow, which is the actual due date. And then my nephew, Quentin, has decided the 15th. So um, we'll see what happens. But the other seven of us, we are out of the running. Um, don't have anything else except I've gone about a week with no temperature, with no fever. So I truly appreciate you all with that. Um, not much else. The time should be winding down or up, whichever way you all say it, um, so that we can go ahead and start praying. When we get started this morning, we'll be reading from Genesis chapter seven. We'll start at verse five and go through verse 10 for reading. Um, yeah, that's about it. Hope you all had a great weekend. Hope you all ministered to somebody this weekend. Um, Yeah, nothing else. Let's play the, oh, maybe not. Heavenly Father, come to you on this morning. Thank you and praising you, Lord God, for waking us up on this Monday morning, Lord God, January 10th, 2022, Father. Lord, we have no clue what the day brings or is going to bring, Father. And so that's why we come to you right now, just to sit at your feet, Lord God. Could you give us some insight into things that we may need to be prepared for, Lord God? Would you show us how to love pers uh, how to love that person, Lord God, at work or on the job or at school, Lord God, that really seems unlovable, Father? Would you help us, Lord God, to just pour out your love upon that person, Father? We come to you on this day, Lord, right now, asking that you would be with us as we sit at your feet, Father that you, Lord God, would minister through me, Father, that I would be on the decrease, Father, and that your um, Holy Spirit would just rise up in me to teach your people what it is that you would have them to know. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So um, <clears throat> we are in Genesis chapter 7, verses 5 through 10. And they read as follows. And Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his son's wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and of everything that creepeth upon the earth. There went in two and two unto Noah into the ark, the male and the female, as God had commanded Noah. And it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth. All right. This is going to seem like it's um, either redundant or it's out of order or something like that. What we're going to read is basically the same account a couple different ways. Okay. So really important. 
God is emphasizing this is exactly what happened. All right. So um, don't let that throw you off. So we go back to verse five um, and Noah did according unto all that the Lord commanded him. We had that verse uh, as well earlier. And I was saying that, you know, you didn't see Noah complaining or stomping his feet or really, God, this is too hard or anything like that. He just went ahead and did what the Lord commanded him to do. Verse six, and Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. All right. So this is when the flood came. Remember, God said that man's days would be 120 years. So if Noah had triplets or children at 500 and now the flood is coming at 600, then it had to be about 20 years or so before um, God ends up having, well, 20 years before that God makes this announcement before Noah has his children. All right. <clears throat> And then with that as well, don't know if he started working on the ark right after he has these children or not, but it's possible up to 100 years that Noah was building this ark. All right. So he has these children at the um, age of 500 and now the flood comes at the age of 600. All right. So he has up to 100 years in there where he is building this ark. Let's go ahead and keep reading. Uh, we'll read six again. And Noah was 600 years old when the flood of waters was upon the earth. And Noah went in and his sons and his wife and his son's wives with him into the ark because of the waters of the flood. Of clean beasts and of beasts that are not clean and of fowls and of everything that creepeth upon the earth. There went in two and two unto Noah into the ark, the male and the female, as God commanded, had commanded Noah. All right. And so we know that there were at least two, um, one of, of each that went into the ark of the animals. But we know also that when it came to the clean beasts, that there they went in in pairs, but there were seven pairs. All right. Um, and we have the, it's specified the, um, eight people that went in and then let's go ahead and keep going um, verse 10 and it came to pass after seven days that the waters of the flood were upon the earth and this is where i'm saying it's, it seems like it's um going back and forth or confusing or what have you it's basically saying that god let them know hey in seven days it's gonna rain and it did start flooding and it was at the time that Noah was 600 years old. And we're getting ready to repeat kind of the same thing. All right. Verse 11. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the deep. <sighs> Excuse me. I don't know why I've been yawning lately. Let's try that again. In the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. All right. So God is more detailed with this. He's saying it is the second month, the 17th day of the month of when Noah is 600 years old. All right. And it says the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. Fountains is Mayan, Mayan, maybe that's why I yawned, right? Um, and it's springs or like the hot springs, um, right? <clears throat> and then of the great deep, remember when um, we were reading Genesis 1 and 1, it was talking about um, the spirit hovered upon the waters of the, of the great deep. It's the same thing, okay? And so read that again the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened <clears throat> and if you um go back and i didn't mark it but if we go back to genesis 1 6 through 8 it says and god said let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters 
Okay, and so this is the initial creation. And God made the firmament, which is um, the earth, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so. And God called the firmament heaven, and the evening and the morning were the second day. Okay, and so, and, and he called it heaven. So this is not the earth part, but um, it's saying that there were waters above heaven and waters below heaven. And this is what is being broken up right now. If we read that again, in the 600th year of Noah's life, in the second month, the 17th day of the month, the same day were all the fountains of the great deep broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. All right. So we got water coming from the top and we got water springing up from the bottom. All right. And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. Let me make sure I don't have anything else there. Okay. And the rain was upon the earth 40 days and 40 nights. In the selfsame day entered Noah and Sham and Ham and Japheth, the sons of Noah, and Noah's wife and the three wives of his sons with them into the ark. All right. And so it's just a repeat. God is making sure that we understand who's in the ark. And if we wondered if any of them had two wives, this right here shows us that they don't because it says the three wives of the sons. All right. So we have eight people in the ark, four males, four females. Um, verse 14, they and every beast after his kind and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, every bird of every sort. So again, God is just being detailed. He's saying every single animal that was out there is now on the ark. Verse 15, and they went in unto Noah into the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is the breath of life. Verse 16, and they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him. And the Lord shut him in. All right. And so, again, it's saying um, what God commanded to happen, happened. But then verse 16 says, and the Lord shut him in. All right. And this is, um, it, it wasn't up to Noah to be able to say, Oh yeah, you know, such and such come on in or you know, I know that the flood waters are starting to rise, but this person um is is now a believer and so let them in. No. God is the one who shut the door. And that's the way that it is with salvation, all right? We are to preach and to teach others about the Lord, but when that day comes, God is going to be the one that short, shuts the door as far as people getting in to heaven. If we turn over to Matthew 25 verses 1 through 13, we'll see an example of this with the, um, the virgins. Okay, so for, uh, verse 1, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise and five foolish. They that were foolish took their lamp and took no oil with them, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. While the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. And at midnight, there was a cry made, behold, the bridegroom cometh, go ye out to meet him. All right. And so this is basically saying, you don't know when Jesus is coming back again. So you just need to be prepared. All right. Verse seven, then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps and the foolish said unto the wise, give us your oil for our lamps are gone out. They're definitely foolish if they think the wise are going to do that. But the wise answered saying, not so, lest there be not enough for us and you, but go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came and they that were ready went in with him to the marriage and the door was shut. All right. It's the same thing. The door was shut. It's um, interesting to witness to people and they say, oh, yeah, I know that um, God is real and Jesus Christ is the Messiah and all that stuff. But I'm just not ready to to change my life and to serve him and to do all of that stuff. That's these uh, foolish ones. They think that they'll have time or they're not prepared, not watching or what have you, but there will come a time when the door is shut. All right. And so going back to um, verse 
16. Yes, going back to verse 16. And they that went in, went in male and female of all flesh, as God had commanded him, and the Lord shut him in. All right. Verse 17. And the flood was 40 days upon the earth, and the waters increased and bare up the ark, and it was lift up above the earth. All right. So again, just emphasizing that it was 40 days. And because of the flood, um, again, the foundations being broken up and the um, windows of heaven pouring out, the ark is raised up above the earth. All right. Verse 18, and the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth and the ark went upon the face of the waters. Um, prevailed, I do have as a first mention, and it is gaver, gaver, and it means to exceed, to be great, uh, to be mighty, or to be strong. And so the waters were mighty upon the earth. Verse 19. And the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. All right, we can stop there. Um, but one of the things that I want to say is here in verse 19, it says the waters prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that were under the whole heaven were covered. That's why they're able to find fossils at the top of these mountains, right? Um I don't know, Kilimanjaro, Rushmore, you know, Fuji, all of these mountains. And they have the fossils up there because of this flood. All right. And so we'll go ahead and we'll stop here at 19. And Lord willing, we will start with verse 20 on tomorrow. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now. thanking you and praising you, Lord God, for the account of um, what happened in the beginning, Lord God. You've let us know in your word that this is not just written just for something to read, Lord God, but it is written for our learning, for our admonition, Father. Help us to take from this, Lord God, what it is that you want each of us to take, Lord. We know that you can minister the exact same word to everyone, Lord God, and have it reach us differently, Father. So speak to us where we are, Lord God. We come to you on this day asking, Father, that you would help us to have sweet words on today as we talk, Lord God, to others, Father. And just ask in the name of Jesus that should you see fit, Lord God, you will wake us up tomorrow, Lord God, that we may come back to learn more about your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. I love you all. You all have an amazing day.